If a population has all the food and space it needs, and it is protected from predators and disease, and its waste products are removed so it's not living in its own waste, the population will grow. This is the way life works. A species would not survive if it was not able to grow under ideal conditions. A species under ideal conditions, or the growth rate will be positive under ideal conditions because members of the population will be able to produce offspring. Later, those offspring will produce their own offspring. Then the offspring of those offspring will produce offspring. So if the first generation produces, let's say it only produces two offspring, then each of those two offspring, uh, and, and we're, let's say we're talking about bacteria, so they, they reproduce asexually. Well, if one, one bacteria produces two bacteria, then those two bacteria reproduce, they produce four, then those four produce eight, then they, those eight produce 16, then that's where we get rapid, rapid growth. Over time, that's, this population will grow. So in, in this kind of a scenario, the size of each generation will be larger than the generation before it. This is called exponential growth. So exponential growth occurs when, when conditions are ideal. And sometimes conditions are ideal when a population is new to an environment. Remember... We started out this this unit, or yeah, we started out this unit talking about invasive species. Well, sometimes when an invasive species comes in, it's it's protected from predators, and uh, because there are no predators that are adapted to um, to consuming that species, and so often these these invasive species experience exponential growth. And so they're growing very rapidly, competing with the native species. Think about um, a hypothetical experiment with a single bacterium that divides to produce two cells every 20 minutes, as I was saying before. So we supply it with ideal conditions. That means it has plenty of food, it, its waste is removed so that it, it doesn't poison itself, and there's nothing there that's going to kill it or limit its growth. Well, if we sit and watch it, then after 20 minutes, it will divide to produce two bacteria. After another 20 minutes, then those two bacteria will divide to produce four cells. After an hour, those four bacteria produce eight cells. So after three 20-minute periods, 60 minutes, one hour, we have two times two times two, or eight cells. Another way to say this is to use an exponent, two to the third power cells. In another hour, that, that's six more, uh, I'm sorry, it's three more 20 minute periods, so six total 20 minute periods. There will be two to the sixth bacteria, which is 64 bacteria. So after one hour, there are eight bacteria. After two hours, there are 64 bacteria. And then one more hour later, there will be two to the ninth, or 512 bacteria. So after one day, because we have this exponential growth, and if you look at this graph, you can see after a certain point, the growth really takes off. So after one day, this bacterial will grow to be, oh boy, this is a big number. Uh, four, it's fourth, four million seven hundred twenty thousand followed by 15 zeros. It'll be a huge population, uncountable by, you know, by, by normal people. If this growth continued, that's after one day. And if this growth continues without slowing down, then in a few days, this bacterial population would, would cover the entire planet. So let's look at this growth for bacterial growth. If you plot the size of this population on a graph over time, you get what's called a J-shaped curve. A J-shaped curve. Write that in your notes. A J-shaped curve is typical of exponential growth. So it rises slow. The, the numbers rise 
re relatively slowly at first, and then after a certain point, they rise faster and faster and faster and faster. Look at that area that's highlighted in, in that circle. That shows where the population, the, that, that sharp increase really occurs. If nothing interferes with this kind of growth, the population will become larger and larger, faster and faster, until it approaches an infinitely large size. 